Hey there, welcome back to the second video on coding masks in SAP product systems. We really hope that you found the first video interesting. If you haven't gone through the video, you can get the link in the description and there is also a card popped up. So click on that and watch the first video. And this is the continuation video for the scene. So before we get into the video, do not forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And you can also contribute to our efforts by clicking join and get access to the member exclusive content. And if you want to do a one-time contribution, you can click on the thanks button and support us. Now, the, three, the third field is the entry tool. This field actually helps the user to create new WBS element based on the previous WBS element, which is at the top level or which is which is at the higher level let's see this here you can see the entry tool is configured as double quotes so what we'll do we'll create a project so i'll do n1 and let's see abc so this project has been created has been uh, configured in the project coding mask so you can see it's starting with n1 and then it has taken this particular coding mask now if i go to the wbs element overview screen for the first level i'll just create this wbs element same as the project definition now in the second level what i'll do is Let's first see the coding mask. So after three alphanumeric characters, I have three numbers. So what I'll do is I'll enter the entry tool, which is the double quote. And then what is the separator? The separator is a oblique. So I'll enter oblique and then some number. So I'll enter one here. So let's see what system does. So you can see in the second level, system added the first level W base element and then attach a oblique and then inserted a number 001 as per the coding mask. So the entry tool helps you to create the next level W base element based on the previous W base element, based on the higher level W base element. This is the significance of the entry tool. I am not supposed to enter the full W base element here. I am just supposed to enter, let's say I again enter two here and then I'll enter the entry tool and then oblique and then two. So what system will do? System will see the first level W base element. Then I have an entry tool and then I have the separator. So system will automatically create a W base element for me by attaching the higher level W base element to my next number which which has been entered by me after the entry tool so this is how the entry tool works now let's go again to that con configuration so after entry tool we have a number of special characters which are defined in the system these special characters are to be used for configuring the separators for your coding mask these are the special characters which are designed specially to create the separators and system understands when you enter like when i use the entry tool i enter a oblique mark so system automatically understood that this special character is to be used to create the coding mask so these special characters are to be inserted here then you have a checkbox called edit now this checkbox actually disallows the user to create any project without using the configured coding masks currently this checkbox is not clicked so let us create a project without any coding mask so i'll again go to project builder and i have coding masks starting with let me check again i have coding masks starting with y z and n1 so let me create a project with a one two three four you can see the system has allowed me to create. Why? Because this edit checkbox is not ticked. 
I have three coding masks, but I am able to create my project without these coding masks also. But let's say that your client requires that every user should create project based on coding masks only. No project should, should be created without a template which has been predefined in the system. So what we'll do is we'll go and we'll select this checkbox and save. So we'll come back again and open the project builder. And this time if I enter the same thing and press enter, see system is giving me an error that the project number or WBS number may not be used. Why? Because I have configured in such a way that I can create only codified projects. Again, I'll go to SPRO and go to the same configuration. Here, this edit checkbox is actually prohibiting me to create a project which does not fall under any coding mask. Now, my I had only three keys that was Y, Z and N1 and I am trying to create a project starting with the letter A. Since this is not falling under any of the coding masks, so I am not allowed to create the project. So this is the very important checkbox which you, you can tell the end user that if you want your system to create projects based on specified templates only, then this is the configuration we have to check. Then the last field is Let's open up this field in the help section. This is the automatic number assignment field. Now, if you have any entry in this field, then system will automatically assign a next available number to the WBS element when you create the WBS element through the project builder. I'll show you how this works. Once you have a coding mask or without coding mask also, if you have created a project definition, and you are trying to create a WBS element and if numbering is possible, if next number is possible to be determined, system will determine the next possible number and automatically assign it. I'll show you how this works. So let's go to the project builder again and create a project with some coding mask like I had created N1 and ABC. Let's go back again to the project builder and create a new project. I will create a project definition and one ABC. Then if I go and create a WBS element, you can see system is automatically assigned the next available number 001 to this WBS element. So this is called as automatic number assignment. System automatically determines the next available number and assigns it to the WBS element so that user is helped in creating the WBS elements in sequence. If I remove the entry here in the configuration, I'll show you. Again, I'll go to these defined special characters. Now this field can have any entry. If it has any entry, system will do this activity which I just showed you. If I remove this and keep it blank and then save, Okay, now let's go again to the project builder, CJ20N and I'll create a project definition. And now if I create a WBS element, system will open up a screen. Okay, system did not automatically assign the next available number. It has opened up a screen. It has found the first number based on the logic but it is not forcing that particular number in the WBS element field. What, what I have got is a pop-up. Here I can click on search. It will give me the proposed number and then I have to click on yes and then it will create the WBS element. So this is the significance of that particular field in the configuration that if the automatic numbering is configured by entering any character in this field, then system will automatically create a WBS element by assigning the next available number. So this is the whole configuration of the project coding mask. Hope you have understood 
what is the significance of project coding mask and what is the configuration so i'll summarize it again a project a project coding mask is simply a template based on which your project definition and wbase element will get created its configuration contains a key based on which the system will identify that you are trying to create the definition based on the project coding mask and the actual coding mask based on which the project the system will give the full template the coding mask contains separators predefined separators and if you are entering x then system will take it for a alphanumeric character and if you are entering 0 then the system will take it as a numeric character based on the whole entry you can create the project whenever you will enter a number system will automatically fit that number into the predefined coding mask in the configuration of special characters for projects you have a key called project length where you can enter any number between 1 and 5 this will actually define the length of the key which is used for creating the coding mask then the second checkbox is the structure length where you can define whether you can create a key up to the project length or below the project length also if i click this checkbox then system will only allow me to create keys with the exact same length which has been defined in the project length field if not if this is not checked then i can create keys below this number also but not above that then you have something called as entry tool which you can use to create the wbase element based on its level if i enter the entry tool and then the next uh, separator and then next number then system will automatically determine the wbase element number and assign it then you have a list of special characters which can be used to create the coding mask then you have a checkbox called edit which is very important because if you click this checkbox then you will be able to create projects based on the coding masks only no user will be able to create any project which does not fall under any coding mask then you have a automatic number assignment where if it is filled then the next number available will be assigned to the wbase element if you are creating wbase element through project builder if no entry is there in this field then system will give a pop up where you can select the next available number now there are two check boxes also available in the project coding mask where i can lock this particular coding mask for creation of any further project definition so if i click on this lock check box and save let's see what happens i'll come back and then again i'll go to create a project through this particular coding mask let's see what happens so i'll go to the project builder and click on project and then again i'll use this coding mask and press enter see the system is giving me error that structure indicator n1 is locked so let's say that your client says that now this particular numbering we have shelved we are not no longer using this particular template so i don't want any user to create any project further with with this coding mask then what you can do is you can in the project coding mask uh, configuration you can click this check box so that uh, any project further is not created using this particular coding mask so i hope that you understand this whole concept you uh, you can configure it and in the next session we'll discuss what is called status profile what is a system status and what is a user status and how we define it in the project system module thank you very much Thank you for watching. We really hope you found this video useful and we will come with a part 2 very soon. So let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section so we can make the necessary improvements to make the content more and more interesting. See you in the next video. Take care.